So here's a familiar feeling. You're waking up on the beach. You've got your rock. You've got your torch. And if you're in a high pop server, it's probably going to start a bit like this. You know, there's only one way to get away from it. Run. So, now that you've made it to outposts, hopefully you've got at least one bag outside. And I'm going to teach you how to live like a rat in outpost. The first thing you have to know is that you're going to be living out of your bag. Your bag is what's left over after you die. And it depends on what's in your bag, how long it's going to last. So I did an experiment and I'll show it to you here. So, as you can see, it uh, depends on what's in your bag, how long your bag's going to last after you kill yourself. Um, I'd safely say you have an hour if you have components, uh, high quality metal, you know, metal frags inside your bag. So, I'd set an alarm for 45 minutes after you kill yourself or a timer to uh, be able to get back to the bag in plenty of time to be able to... Uh, pick it all up before it despawns. So this is why you're going to have sleeping bags outside, and I would suggest multiple sleeping bags outside of Outpost. Say three to four at the very least, just because some people will break bags as they see them. Once you kill yourself, you can uh, spawn over in a sleeping bag, then you come back to your, you know, your body bag and take off whatever you want, uh, such as your tools or clothing, and then do a run to the nearby monument or take a run down the road, or just go around the outside of outposts to collect uh, any junk piles that are out there or you know any uh, resources that you can find. So now I'm just gonna show you a few other helpful hints and tips that you can uh, use to maximize your time in outpost. You can use your rock to hit things inside of the safe zone. The only thing you can't hit are other players or the scientists inside. You can also use it to take down the signposts. So each signpost gives you one pipe and one road zone. But far more effective is the paddle. So as soon as you can, you should get a paddle. If you have to go to a fishing village to get the blueprint, or many times you'll just pick one up in barrel. These two machines contain the clothing and the tools. So if you need cloth while you're here in Outpost, you can buy a pair of the gloves at the bottom for 40 scrap. And that will give you 20, or sorry, 200 cloth when you recycle all the sewing kits inside. But we're looking for the pickaxe. Out around outposts, you can uh, find some or or some nodes. Uh, so if you want to get some stone, this is a way to do it. Just staying within the safe zone, you can actually use your rock to collect as much as you'd like. This one, though, is actually close to the edge of the safe zone. So, if you quickly run in, 
hit it a couple of times and then switch off, you can use your pickaxe to uh, take it down. Or it's even faster if you get a jackhammer. Now the reason I only got the pickaxe instead of the pickaxe and the axe is because you can actually trade for wood here in Outpost. So you can see we get 500 wood for every 150 stone. So we're going to buy a pile. Now, uh, when you're here early on in the white, it will stack into stacks higher than a thousand. But when you come later on, it'll actually only stack into thousands. So if you want to be able to carry more, then uh, you can actually fit in your inventory. What you're going to do is you're going to spam a bunch of tool cupboards. So you have 30 seconds between each tool cupboard to make it back to your base or wherever you're going. And what you can do is you just right click one and that'll take it up into the head of it so you can have another 30 seconds starting again so usually i'll let it get down to about 10 then right click one to reset see also in these vending machines you'll notice that uh, you can buy a lot of your resources for scrap you have your stone your metal your wood and your low grade you can get from scrap uh, also, it has some components that you can buy. Uh, they're quite expensive, but if you're not having luck picking them up, it, it is a place to get them. Now, if you need it high qual, you can actually come over here to this machine. And for 75 scrap, you can buy a solar panel, which will give you three high qual when you recycle. Also here in Outpost, of course, you have your tier ones which you can actually go on the tech tree and learn things quite quickly. So for 95 scrap, you can actually get down to the ore because it takes uh, 75 for the salvage hammer and then 20 for the paddle. Or you could uh, learn the tools as well. And then if you actually pick something up in one of the crates outside, you can come over here and just learn it on the research bench. Also, over here, we have the repair bench. And that way, if uh, your tools are getting beat up, you can repair them. Now, as you progress here in Outpost, uh, you may find a revolver or buy one here and want some ammunition for it or a shotgun or maybe you find a satchel and a bean can and you want to start raiding. Well, you can come here and if you buy the smoke grenades, when you recycle them, just grab one, you will get 18 gunpowder and 25 metal frags. So with that, it's uh, quite easy to get enough to get some ammo. Uh, actually, to make one satchel, it's going to cost you 70 scrap worth of uh, bean cans. So you're going to need 14, or sorry, worth of smoke grenades. So you're going to need 14 smoke grenades, recycle them, and make your satchel. One of the downfalls of the post is there's no food for sale here but there are sometimes animals that roam into the safe zone now while they're in the safe zone you can attack them with your rock or your paddle uh, i'd suggest a paddle because they're not uh, overly aggressive but they will still try to attack so you can run in there and then you're going to use your stone to get all the food or all the meat out of it. Once you have some meat, you can come over to the chill zone and just put it all in the barbecue. Once 
want to spread it out and it only takes uh, three wood to actually fully cook so if you don't want to have to tend just put the three wood in and let it cook once you have your hunger up you can actually sit down in the chairs here by the fire and you're a little bit warmer well, actually this one is the warmest chair but for some reason I can't mount it hmm. Okay, well, anyway, you get 100% comfort, and that'll help you build your health back up. Also, on the other side of the stage, you put the water barrel that you can just drink out of to get your thirst. Later on in the game, uh, maybe you've uh, got a mini heli and you'd like to find a place that's a little safer to park it than down here. So I'm just going to show you a couple spots where you can throw a heli. Uh, the first one's really easy, so being such, uh, it's not a real safe place to put it. But a lot of people don't know that they're able to jump over, and you can land your heli over here. Another place that's a little harder to get to, but that'll make it safer for your mini, is up top. You can park it here here or up here uh, one that not many people use is over in the back located over here and this final one my friend avocado showed me and I hardly ever see anyone parking up here. Uh, you gotta get a little jump over this barbed wire. Jump up, there we go. And you can park your heli here. The only problem with this one is people will Stand here, let their friend jump on their head and jump over, and they can get it. Well, I hope someone finds at least a couple of these tips a little helpful. Uh, I find that coming to Outpost and living out of my body bag for the first, you know, half an hour, three quarters of an hour of wipe is really helpful. That way I'm not running up the roads with everything I own on my back before I get a base down. Okay, thanks guys.